Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 10. Where Foxhorse getting a little snack uh, down here in the CO2 pit? Really? No, we've, we've got to get that out. And we could start scrubbing it, but really, I just want to collapse it all down here and have a huge void down here. Um, one of the things that I that was mentioned in the comments that I thought was, of course, a really good idea was the wiring needs to be below the floor. Now, I don't really want to do that here because I want to leave this natural terrain because the hatches tend to prefer the natural terrain and eventually I'm going to usher this hatch up and hopefully he'll run over here and then I'll usher these up and I'd like to just slowly with the tiles push them further and further until we can get everybody all up here. Um, but the wires that can go in the ground are all of these. Look at all those wires just hanging out for no good reason either. No good reason at all. So let's take care of that. Simple fix, but it needs to be done. And then now that wire is going to need to stay there actually. So cancel that deconstruction. I don't want to cross... Don't want to cross the wires. Okay. So now that that's taken care of, let's look at this that we've got going on. Because... Mm, I don't know if we're ready to break into that just yet. I'd like to have my collection area pretty much already established. So we're going to be giving things a very high priority. So let's see, you're going to fall down here. I think like that, to start. To start. So then what we'll do is we'll deconstruct... Um, this and we'll put a ladder down. No, not there. Put our ladder down to our more permanent water collection area, which uh, I don't really know if I want it to mess with all that. Uh, it's going to be going to be a good amount of work to be done here. So let's. Um, I think we're going to need a ladder here like this. And what one there and then there 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 because what we're gonna need to do is to dig all of this out like that and then they can jump to from there and from there for now and then all of that's gonna be dug away as well we can go ahead and dig that out. Okay. Just trying to get it all planned out in my head. Is the water from these geysers, I kind of want to spill down here and then collect. I kind of wish I could move that one down a little bit, but we'll work with it. It won't be too big of a deal. Everybody's stress is doing good with the minimal decoration. Still a lot of stress. Um... Some, there's been some clamoring for snazzy suits, which is definitely something that I want to do. See, now this is too warm. It's just going to be impossible to keep them happy. Are you not being irrigated? You are not being irrigated. How did I miss a pipe? That's bizarre. Okay, well, with all this priority 9, hopefully it'll get done relatively quickly. Having a path to and from base over here would make things a lot easier, but the water is sort of preventing that. I could dig down on this side and cut across. Actually, that might be the smart thing to do for now. Just to give people quicker access over here. But I don't want to rupture this water before it's time. Is the only problem. So I want to make sure I stay clear of it. By three tiles. Right, and then over here. One, two, three. Then we've got this water to do to contend with. We could go what underneath. One, two, three. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. They can choose their own adventure. It's going to take a little bit of monitoring to make sure nobody gets stranded or trapped. But they should get it done relatively quickly. Uh, this is just stressing people out. You guys can get rid of that. 
It's rather toxic in here. But, you know, if we get the occasional s the spores or trench stench, you know, we'll just deal with it. Okay, so we're going to let this water fall down. And this water fall down. And hopefully it'll collect here and then come down the ladder to a more permanent storage area where all of this water will also come. Now, eventually the water will be... Um, well, at first, rather, the water is cold because the geysers don't have a whole lot of room to put out their hot water, but also, yeah, and they're only at about 1,000 kilograms. It's not a ton of water pressure built up here. Not like this area. We're not going to mess with that just yet. But this water will act as sort of a buffer, keeping the water nice and cool at first. And then that'll, that'll eventually change as the geysers put out steam and it comes down it'll get it'll get hotter and hotter we're gonna have to filter the dirty water out of the clean water eventually everybody's over here working hard tell me somebody's cooking though no there's no power because nobody's delivering anything to the coal generators because everybody is busy digging okay fine 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 an eight Eight it is. Don't neglect your nines. What is that? More water? That's going to be... Everybody's just getting soggy feet. Which also stresses them out. So we need to mop up all of this. And hopefully somebody will fill the coal generator. Oh, a couple of excellent harvests. That's good. That's always good. Uh, we got this air deodorizer problem over here that we, we need one. So let's go ahead and put one of those down. I'd like the air in here to be as clean as possible. This access corridor is whatever, but... There we go. Now we've got coal. We've got plenty of coal thanks to our wonderful hatches. There, Coal is everywhere. And what, we're at 11 duplicants little bit of stress yeah we needed to we needed to make all of this a priority eight so that it wasn't taking away from the coal generators and the massage tables only problem is now people have better things to do no they don't the nine priority nines are taken care of and everybody can dedicate themselves to the priority eights wonderful it's gonna take a little bit of time I have a feeling that water pressure is gonna break some of these tiles we could just let it fill in this pit naturally. I had thought about doing that, but then I'm trying to then I'm trying to build my way around it. You know, uh, I keep going back and forth in my head on the best way to do this. Perhaps we just need to let the water come down and open up this bottom part of the base. Then everybody won't have to. Yeah, let's. Oh, I didn't really want to do that first, but I think that's going to be... Oh, Justin B's getting a little upset. No, let's deconstruct these and those. And we'll just let the water come down here naturally. It'll be impossible to take the ladder once the water comes down here, though. That was my big concern. Ooh, calm down. So once this place fills with water... It's going to be impassable. But we really, we can't afford to keep having everybody take the long way. We need to open up this passage to at least get them here. And then we can build the catch for the geysers. And we can sort of build our little cistern around this area once it fills with water. I'm just going to let the water mix with the polluted water for now. Because more than anything, I want to open up the bottom of this base. We've got CO2 build up. And like I said, a huge path all the way around that everybody has to take. It's just not doing anyone any favors. We can dig that out. That's not necessary. Okay, so now everyone should be um, working on the ladder. Uh, the, this, this ladder can be canceled for now. A lot of pockets of water over here and the multiple geysers throwing me for a loop. It took me so long to find steam geysers in the last season. I did not expect to be surrounded by three that's kind of hindering my expansion. I'm 
very afraid of this geyser. I don't want to break into it. Look at look at that water pressure, 4,000 kilograms. As soon as that breaks anywhere, it's just going to come spewing 80 degree water everywhere. It will be a huge issue to deal with. And I'm not breaking these out until the permanent storage is in place, but we can still get the, the base accessible. So I think we're going to go back to priority nine. Just to make sure that everybody gets it done. Oh, what is this? A little bit of extra water? Okay, that's fine. Nobody's making food. Got lots of meal lice, though. Plenty of food to make. Everybody's focused on this. Oh, Sylvia Fox has the spores. Yeah. And all this slime. All the slime you could ever want. Yeah. 30,000 kilograms of slime. We don't have any bio distillers up yet. But I don't... Yeah, I don't want to mess with that anymore. I want to get this. This is quickly becoming an issue. If we don't let this carbon dioxide out of here, we're going to have to put in some air scrubbers or a huge algae terrarium section. And I'd rather just kind of make it go away. Plus, all this water is... Well, it's it's just causing a problem. Causing a problem. I want to I want to build like a an eating area over here and yeah, this is just toxic toxic wasteland. Well, not toxic, unbreathable. Is somebody Come on. Where is everybody? Justin B, do you feel better? Are you less stressed now? Oh, you had some time on the massage table. No, don't just do one and leave. Okay. We need to get some more more duplicates over here. How are... Kitsune Opal is working on those paintings. Oh, because ladders only one person can work on at a time. That's right. Well, why don't we do that? Yeah, because we're going to need that water to... We're going to need that water to come down. Yeah, CO2 is creeping up. What's our air pressure looking like? Rather well, the algae... No wire connected. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Fool, fool, fool. There we go. I don't think I need these manual generators anymore, but... We do need... We do need the algae deoxidizer connected. That's a very important thing. It is a nine, right? Go ahead. Yes, there we go. There we go. Did we make any progress? Uh, a little bit. See, and everybody's got to run all the way back. All the way back. This carbon dioxide should start to sweep down here. I don't know, what's the pressure? 2,500 grams. We can open this hallway up more. Three, four to facilitate carbon dioxide flow. Might just go ahead and do that. Uh, no, I don't want people to waste their time there, though. Come on. There you go. I want this taken care of. Oh, GG contracted the spores. Everybody's got the spores. All right, Craig's going to take a shift. Almost getting there. Getting close. Yeah, they're wasting so much time having to run all the way around. Yeah, we needed we needed to do this first. Then they can just come down and, and build the, the water collection area down here. If we have to, you know, we'll just pump the water up into the water collection area if we absolutely have to. We'll have the power. We should have tons of electricity. Yeah, the coal generators don't even have to run that often, so they're getting plenty of time to cool down. Because the battery threshold at which they get filled is 20%. Could even probably be lower. Let's go ahead and make it 15, actually. Because with all three running, those batteries get filled very quickly. And then the rest of the coal, while it's burning, it's just going to waste. Oh, that's going to start... That's going to break of its own accord here pretty soon. There you go, Kendrith. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. 
Oh, don't you do that to me. Who's coming next? Oh, GG. You don't look so good, my friend. All that hopscotching on the ladders slowing you down? I know. Oh, the puff is trying to give you a kiss. That looks to be like a bit of a problem there. <laughs> you said you wanted a shower, right? Oh, yeah, you're not feeling well. Just one tile. Somebody's getting a bath. I'm not leaving. There we go. Who do we have here? Kitsune Opal and Seven Eye? All right, you guys take a turn. Quickly before it breaks. I'm not going to miss this moment. This is going to be nice. Oh, everybody's up here. Oh, there it goes. Yep. There goes the water. Thinking about food at a time like this. There you go. It's the last one. You can do it. Oh. Yeah, now everybody's like, ladder up. Ladder up. Seven Eye, Kitsune Opal, everybody go. Excellent. Now, let's start getting rid of this water. Ooh, there it goes. Deluge. Look at that. And now all that CO2 is going to be down here, though. That's good, though. It's out, It'll be out of our base. Mm, but the polluted oxygen. Yeah. Mm, yep. Nope. That's a thing indeed. All right. All right. All right. Enough of that. Let's speed things up. Who is idle? Kendrith? <gasps> Gotta pay attention to that. It's not okay for people to be idle. That means something is wrong. No, no, no. Dig, dig, dig yourself out. Seven Eyes gonna help you. There you go. Kendrith was trapped. Mm. Oh my. And the water is still coming. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, we're going to need deodorizers. This is no longer going to be sterile anymore. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get one here. Let's get one here for now. At a high priority, please. We're going to need one up here as well. Okay, it's going to use some of our sand, but we'll get some oxygen from it. And at least now we've opened up the bottom of the base. Thank goodness. Hmm. That was just, that was getting to be an issue. And I didn't want to dig, like to try to dig around the sides. What, one, two, three, trying to stay away from the geysers. It just would have been, just would have been all, all a large dangerous pain. Look at that, like, awkward waterfall. Oh, is that going to make that ladder impassable though? Because it's covered in water? Oh, I bet it's that, yep, that polluted water is messing it up. And there it goes. Okay, good. Now we can take the ladder. Let's get these filled up, please. They need to start purifying the air. Wow, how much water does the microbe musher need? Really, everyone? Holy moly. Well, we do have some meal ice. All right, good. We can start talking about an eating area where the duplicants are going to consume their food. And I'm thinking it's going to be kind of in this vicinity. Of course, we're going to need a kitchen. Hmm. So the kitchen and the refrigerator should be in the front, maybe? Hmm. I'm thinking about it. Wow, that is a lot of water, everyone. Why is this... Okay, how about just an eight? Go about your day. Get some other things finished. My goodness. There we go. Entombed! Justin B! No! It must be free! Okay, there we go. There we are. All right. Good deal. So we've got some air deodorizers running. Okay, we've got a few of them running. That's good. Still a lot of carbon dioxide over there. The hatch is here. 
So we'll need to build that hatch away up. Mm-hmm. And then we'll just do that, and then that. There we go. That should work. Maybe. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully that'll encourage the hatch to move up here. And burrow here in the algae, and then we can stair-step the hatch here, and then eventually up here with the other hatch. All right, so many things to keep track of. Um, the next bit that we need to put our sights to... We're gonna need some kind of ceiling here. So we can go ahead and get that done. Oh, we still got a sterile atmosphere over here. There's still a lot of CO2 floating around. It's gonna take time for it to work its way down. It is wafting down though. You can see it's spilling down. There's just a lot of positive pressure here with the polluted oxygen that it's having to fight against. Now people have longer to go for water, though. That's fine. All right, maybe this hatch will go up. Everybody's asleep, though. So he's just going to go back down. Yeah. Well, hopefully he burrows up there. We'll just have to wait and see. I could red alert and have people come down here and open the door, but that's not really worth disturbing everyone's sleep over. So, start of a new day. Let's get ourselves a cooking station going here. No more microbe mushers. Mm-hmm. How do I want... No, no decor. It does put out heat. So I'm thinking we're going to need a refrigerator which improves decor, and what's its storage capacity? Stores 100 kilograms versus 150, so we'll probably need two refrigerators. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's plan this out, actually. Furniture, mess table. So we're gonna want a large mess room and it will likely, what, this will continue over, so... Alright, let's go ahead and dig this out. We'll go ahead and switch to tiles over here. And then we're just, that door is going to be blocked, that's just the way of it for now. We'll dig those up, and then we'll dig those up, and... We're likely going to need some insulated tiles on the far side. Maybe. Yeah, it's a little cold. Well, that might work in our favor. We'll leave it be for now. We'll just get this done. And I know the, the roof here, I know it's not going to get done until this is taken care of. I'm just not ready to deal with this yes, yet because I need to move these. They're not going to be there forever. Yeah, that airlock's probably not doing what it's supposed to do now, so let's just go ahead and deconstruct it. That's perfectly alright. And then we can go ahead and get our... No! No, 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 I don't want to connect that, because then the hatch will... The hatch will use it. We can do that, though. And get a little bit of gas permeable here, and tiles there. And dig all that up. It's starting to look like a colony. Starting to. How are we doing here? Good yield, good yield, good, excellent, good. It's just too warm over here too warm now they can't keep up so how about we'll do one insulated tile here we'll block this one and we'll block that one and we'll block those actually cancel that one or no no no, no. cancel that one insulated tile there you have to keep messing with it till we find the right balance until we're ready to go off a of meal wood which we're not yet 26 slice loaf that's good 
Air deodorizers are running. Getting some of this air cleaned out. Probably should put one here. That's what we should do. Air deodorizer is everywhere. And we've got lots of sand though. I'm not I'm not I don't wanna I don't wanna skimp on the sand. Plus this is helping our overall oxygen generation. Oxidizers are running. How's the algae doing? Algae's doing good. We just dug up a bunch more. Okay, this ladder is not going to stay. That is part of what I'm wrestling with here. So let's go ahead and get rid of the ladder. Thank you. Now what we're going to need is... Nope, nope, wrong tab. Mess table. I'm thinking... Two by two. Six, eight... 10. 10's probably good. 10's probably good. We'll get some decorations up. Whoa. Everybody just made a noise. Was that like a sigh of relief? I mean, I know the hatches were making some noise, but... Well, we'll just wait. If the hatch ends his day over here, we'll open the door. Otherwise... Otherwise, we'll leave him to it. Mess tables. We're going to need pictures of the duplicate Lisa over everyone's head. There we go. And I think at this point, we can go ahead and deconstruct you. So we're going to need refrigerators. How much power do they use? 120? So this line is only having 360 pulled off of it. And then the cooking station... here. That's pretty good. There's heat that comes off of this, right? Points plus 7.5 plus 2.5. No, so let's let's rearrange that a little bit. Let's go cooking station, refrigerator, and then we're gonna have to adventure out into the world for some Weezworts. These are still sterile and and suitable for now. We can dig these up. You know what? We totally do not need those there. We'll just leave this area to its own devices. There's plenty more, but we need them. They'll better serve us over here. Plant one there, and plant one there, and they give a passive decor, which is nice. And then what? We'll just... Oh, it's... Oh, it's not gonna... It's not gonna... That's gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me. Suppose we could have done the refrigerator here, and then... The wheeze word on the other side of it. All right, we're, we're rethinking it. Going to do it a little bit differently. Nope, okay. So now I'm thinking refrigerator here and here. And then we could do wheeze word here and here. No, 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 no. Cancel. Uh, let's make these out of granite. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. They can't obstruct the wheeze warts. What was I thinking? I had it right the first time. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Thank you, Kitsune Opal. Hey, you looked pretty sad till you finished your painting. Okay. Now... Get ourselves a Weezwort there and there. For the electricity, we can just run the wire. Let's run it like this. Because then we can deconstruct this wire, and at least we'll be hiding a little bit of it. Thank you, Gigi. All right, let's... Let's take a second to look at the different food options. We've got the mush fry, 
It adds a thousand calories to the effect. Removes disease potential from food. Still terrible quality. The grilled bud of a bristle blossom. Adds a thousand calories. Standard. Pickled meal. Meal lice regrettably preserved in vinegar. Mmm. It adds... Uh, why? Ugh. Barbecue. Cooked meat of a defeated creature. With some pinch of pepper nut. Mmm. Frost bun. Sleet wheat grain. Okay. Pepper bread. Sleet wheat grain and pinch of pepper nut. That looks good. Good quality food. And a stuffed berry. A baked bristle berry stuffed with delectable spices and vibrantly flavored. Bristle berry, pinch of pepper nut. So I'm thinking we're going to need a pinch of pepper place, a sleet wheat place, and a bristle berry place. And be done with the mealwood because we want to make the good food, right? We don't want to just... Like, we, we can get to frost bun probably sooner rather than later. That'll be a good thing. But we don't want to just be eating bad food the whole time. We want our duplicates to enjoy their meals. Hey, hey, hey. This wire is important. It's powering the microbe musher. We don't have that much food in our stockpile. There we go. There we go. Now, I don't think these require... So the only thing that requires the microbe musher up here... is the mush fry. But unfortunately, as long as we're eating meal lice, we're going to need the microbe musher to be operated. I did not leave a place for an air deodorizer. Well, we're going to need airflow. So let's look at doing this. In fact... Hmm... We got, what, cold water there? Hmm... This is gonna be, uh, interesting to set up. It's gonna take a little bit of planning. We're already ruining this door. Dig that out. I don't want anyone getting entombed. But obviously we're going to need a larger dining facility because we don't even have enough dining for... We don't even have enough dining for everyone to sit at now that we currently have duplicates. So we're going to do a couple more so we have some extra. There we go, and same thing. We're going to let all those bad gases dip right through the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and mop that up. Where are you guys going? Oh, 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 because you're trapped over here. No, hurry up. Wild Rage, save everyone. You guys can come back now, Stacy and Kendrith. Oh, you don't have to be in the icy tomb of death and CO2 over there. Still got a lot of CO2 struggling to work its way down here. It's just because of the high pressure from the polluted oxygen. That's really what it is. And the, the darn hatch keeps going back to this one little patch. I guess we could just dig it up. We could just dig it up and then deal with the hazards. Who's... Uh, let's... In fact, let's check and see who's injured. Ataku Samurai? You could use some time on the medical cot. Alright, so now we're going to need a place to grow our sleet wheat, and hopefully that will be over here. So I'm hoping we can do sleet wheat here, pinch of pepper here, because these areas are naturally hot and cold. So we can use that to our advantage. Sleet wheat, pinch of pepper, and then bristleberry down here. 
long term. That's all really long term. But that's where we're going to wrap things up. So this has been Oxygen Not Included, Episode 10. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing and sharing with everyone. Come back next time as we continue to figure out the dining facility side of things, and then, then we're going to turn our vision to water and giving everybody showers and lavatories. Which will likely go here, but... We might have to do the Great Hatch Migration first. That'll be next time. Until next time, take care.